But we're going to spend a little time talking about BT now, Bacillus thuringiensis. Again, BT is a lot easier to remember. Uh, this product is one of the greatest insecticides out there on the market. It uh, has been around for a lot of years, and the reason that it is so good is that it targets a, one specific type of insect. It only kills caterpillars, uh, insects in the insect order Lepidoptera. And uh, it is a stomach poison. It uh, works by the insect actually has to ingest some of the BT and it uh, will cause the insect to develop a really, really bad stomach ache and die. Um, but you will actually see some damage on the plants uh, and you have to see a little bit of damage for this material to work. But it does not kill any of the beneficial insects. It, it is not uh, adversely affect humans. I wanna talk a little bit about uh, different formulations. Bacillus thuringiensis. It comes uh, in a liquid formulation, a wettable powder formulation, and as a dust. With both of these formulations, it is important to get adequate coverage or good coverage on the plant. Uh, the dust uh, formulation is uh, uh, a little harder to get very good control or very good coverage because it's a little bit harder to, uh, to uh, uh, get your dust on the underside of the leaf utilizing a dust. Uh, there are applicators that uh, you can actually force air through and it will blow the dust out and do a pretty good job, but most of the dust applicators are, end up being something like this. This is a homemade one. Uh, we've got some holes in the top and it makes a pretty decent applicator. And I'm just gonna start applying a little bit of this dust here. You can see uh, we got a little the dipel coming out. Sometimes you have to shake it up a little bit. Uh, might need to put another hole or two in there. Uh, see that's fogging up a little bit. But it's important that you get enough of this material on the leaves to uh, that it's there when that caterpillar ingests some of that bacteria. Uh, when that happens in a couple of days the caterpillar will stop feeding and, and then just a little bit more time it will die. And this would work a little bit better with a few extra holes in the top. And we'll do that before we use it again. Uh, now I want to show a, another product which is sometimes confused with dust. It's a wettable powder formulation. Remember wettable means that you mix it with water. Uh, you don't want to use the dust mixed with water. The concentration uh, of the dust is a lot less than the concentration of a wettable powder formulation. So the wettable powder, in this case, we have already mixed up and, and with a wettable powder, sometimes they are harder to stay in suspension than some of the ECs or emulsifiable concentrates. But uh, so when you have a, this one is, is in suspension really good now. And uh, so you keep it shook up. And uh, as I mentioned with the dust, it's very important to get uh, good spray coverage. Uh, and you want the upper and lower side of the leaves covered. And it's a little hard to do. You have to kind of get on the inside of the plant and shoot out. And most of the recommendations when you're applying any pesticides is sprayed at the point of runoff. And you can see that's happened right there. I don't need to put any more material on that leaf right there because it is already running off. Well, I hope this uh, makes you uh, better understand how to properly use Bacillus thuringiensis BT. Mm -hmm.